In this clip, we're going to be talking about the right time to play an organ in a, in a rock and roll band. And I think the answer to that question is just about any time. Because, uh, you know, a Hammond is a big, heavy thing. To get a real one out there is, is difficult to get one on stage and to be able to play it. Um, like I said, unless you're, you know, you have roadies who are going to carry your piano as, as well. Uh, but when you get a, a Hammond out there, it just sounds so good and so real and so just... It just fills up the room so much. You can't go wrong with with playing it. Like you know, I said the the electric piano is the workhorse, and this is kind of you know the special. This is kind of the diva of um, of rock and roll keyboards. And the beautiful thing is, you can get it's it's almost difficult to get a bad sound on the Hammond. So you can just sit there and play chords, play real pad chords, and a lot of times that'll fill out the sound so much that you know you don't even need to do anything. And people think you're a genius, and all you're doing is just holding the chord down. So we talked earlier about using the Leslie and speeding up the Leslie speakers and speeding them up and slowing them down to add some drama to uh, to the sound. So you know you can just hold down a chord and speed up and slow down the Leslie. You know you can. Uh, you can get a lot of drama out of that with just playing a few notes. And remember what I said before about simplifying what you're doing. If you're going to be um, just playing one note, you can do a lot of things with the draw bars, and that adds even more drama. So let, let's say, for example, you want, you're going from like a really big chorus down to this section right after the chorus where you want everything to get really quiet. So you can go from, go from all these down to I'm going to push up these, these draw bars. So. All of a sudden, you get a lot of drama out of it. You don't. You only need to play that those few notes because everybody else is doing enough that that fills out your part of the sound, and you just help make that drama happen through through using those uh, those draw bars. Now, even if you don't have a real Hammond and a real Leslie, you can get. I mean, there are Leslie simula or Hammond and Leslie simulators out there all the time. It's just a matter of knowing, you know, how to use um, how to use the different controls on that and. You know, you'll hey, with a little bit of practice and a little bit of uh, you know just playing around with how this stuff works. It'll it'll almost be like there's a real Hammond on stage.